This is Callum Booth, you're watching Hibernian TV. Callum, welcome back to Hibs. It seems like a long time since we last spoke on Hibernian TV. How thrilled are you about being back at your, your local club? It's obviously great to be back. Um, I've been enjoying it. We've been back training for a week and a half now, so it's been good stuff. Um, obviously, been away for two years. It's you know things have changed and stuff, but it's it's, it's really good to be back. And the commute from Haddington to Trinant is a lot shorter than over to Livingston or up to Wraith Rovers. Of course, aye, of course. Um, I lived over in Dunfermline last season when I was when I was playing for Wraith Rovers, so that was good just to get away, just to get away from from everything really. Um, but no, it's 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 perfect for me. Uh, just ten minutes up the road, so can't complain. What do you feel you've learned from your time away? Because you've experienced quite a few highs and lows already, haven't you, in your career? Last year, obviously, you won the Challenge Cup as well, so it's been a bit of a mixed bag overall, hasn't it? It has been. Aye. Um, it's hard to pinpoint one thing of of what I've what I've um, learnt. You know, I've I've got good experience now. I feel though I've played nearly 150 games, um, senior games. So I think that that will stand me in good stead, hopefully. Um, but no, I, just, I mean, obviously last season was a was a good season. Um, I really enjoyed it and played played every single game and and really enjoyed my time at Wraith Rovers. So um, hopefully I can I can replicate some of that some of that form this this season if I if I get the chance. Looking back at the start of your Hibs career and it was absolutely phenomenal, wasn't it? You went from coming back from a loan spell away to making your debut in the cup against Air United and then suddenly you were probably one of the most informed players in the Premiership, weren't you? You won Goal of the Month, yeah. Young Player of the Month, got capped at Scotland under-21 level and then suddenly you know, you were out of the picture. That must have been a really strange experience overall. Um, it, it was a little bit. Um, you know, obviously from from you know, I was my career was always like that. It was on the high and it was on the up and stuff, and I was really enjoying myself and stuff. But you know, um, managers are the ones that have the final say, you know, and um, obviously people have their opinions, which is which is fair enough. And you know, obviously he didn't he didn't rate me as a player, um, not the old manager, but the manager before. Um, so you know, just these 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 things happen, and I had to go get myself out on loan to to to, to play football. Um, and I've, I've enjoyed it, so I'm, I'm back now, and hopefully that experience is is, is going to stand me in good stead. But um, I know what you're saying, um, but you know I've just I've just taken it on the chin and just got on with it, really. So you just put that down to experience, and to what extent do you feel that maybe you were slightly burned out because you played so many games in such a short space of time, didn't you? You went from being a rookie that was making his debut mm -hmm. to being probably one of the first names on the team sheet. I, I, don't, I don't I don't feel I was I was burnt out. Um, in particular, to be honest, um, I, I feel I felt, from what I can remember, I felt I felt fine. Uh, maybe I had a little bit of a dip in form. Um, in fact, I, I did have a little, a little bit of a dip in form, but you know that happens to a lot of young players, um, <clears throat> and, and and these things happen. But you know I've been away for two years now, so hopefully um, I can get back to playing my best. Because everyone always. always is always talking about graduates of the academy and saying, well, who's going to be the next big thing? Obviously, people were talking about you in that way. Do you feel that you can still get to where you want to get to eventually? It's just you maybe had to take a couple of detours along the way. Yeah, well, I, never, I mean, I never really listened to, um, you know, getting hyped up and stuff, you know. Um, kind of just all went over my head, you know. I was just focused. I was I was playing for Hibs, and you know it was it was brilliant at the time, playing week in week out, and I was I was just enjoying that. The fact of playing, you know, I wasn't really listening to oh you're getting go of the month, you're getting play of the month, you know that was, it was of course it was nice to get, um, but you know I, I wasn't getting myself carried away or anything, um, and then <clears throat> you know a setback happened, and setbacks happen in football, especially to younger players, and you know. Setbacks happened, and hopefully I'm behind it now, and hopefully I'm a better, a better player and a better person for it. We're in the championship. You know that league pretty well from the last two years with Livy and with Wraith Rovers as well. What can we expect? What type of challenge awaits Hibs? I think it'll be a tough league. Obviously, the Rangers and Hearts being in it as well is going to add to it as well. But you know, there's some good sides in there as well. Um, as you said, I've played in, in the championship for two years now, and you know, some some good sides. Falkirk are, are always good. They'll always be up there. You know. Um, and I mean, Hibs, Hibs, obviously, Hibs fans have got experience. You know, they played Hamilton twice, and I mean, I think you could see Hamilton were a pretty decent team, you know, and they they finished second. And you know, there's a lot of, a lot of good 
good teams down there. Um, you know, even the part-time teams like Dumbarton and Murray's done a brilliant job there, and they're they're tricky to play against. They just attack you, you know, for the full 90 minutes. So, I know it's it's going to be a tough league, but an exciting league as well. And the Challenge Cup as well. You did enjoy a high point at Easter Road last year, winning the the cup against Rangers, who we've been drawn to face in the first round. So there's some symmetry there, isn't there, overall? A little bit. Eh? It's, it's, I suppose it's a little bit strange playing playing Rangers twice in um, in the same cup competition. Um, first of all, hopefully I can you know impress the manager enough to be to be playing in that game. But it was it was a great high. It was you know the, the best moment in my career so far winning winning the Ramsons Cup, you know, at Easter Road in front of twenty thousand people, you know, the game being on television, everything it was just, you know, all my friends and family being there it was you know, it was it was brilliant. So, you know, I know some people might be thinking, oh, it's the you know, the Challenge Cup and stuff, but once you get to the quarter final, semi finals, you know, I'm, I'm sure everyone will start taking interest in it and especially with Rangers getting drawn against Hibs, it's gonna you know, it's gonna be good and a lot of people will be will, will be interested in it. And what's it like to be back now with two of you? Closest friends, Paul Hanlon and obviously Danny Handlin, who you went to school with. And Louis, Louis Stevenson. And, and Louis as well. <laughs> Louis is your pal, but you know. <laughs> ah, it's, it's good to be back. You know, I've always kept in touch with them. Um, even when I was out on loan, you know, I was meeting up with, with Hanlon and Louis and stuff. So, you know, I've always kept in touch with them. And now, you know, it's just it's just pretty normal, to be honest, being back with them. Um, and it's been good to see them and good to be out there training and stuff with them. So uh, it's been pretty normal, but good as well to see them again.